Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the, well, fashion bunker. Across the pond, darling. Check this out. <clears throat> we are at Christian Dior, Harrods, in London, darling. Isn't this decadent? I'm here with Patrick J. Thomas. Hey, everybody. And we're about to meet somebody very special. I just have to find out where they are. <clears throat> so I caught a bit of a cold. It's not, you know, it's not the lockdown thing. It's not, um, you know, I, I tested, I'm negative. Um, then Patrick got sick too. <laughs> also negative, but. Not the Rona. Right. I totally forgot how I called it. Uh, I don't know, anyway. Candy cane. Candy cane. Oh my god, my brain is fried. A little rhyme. So, but my voice is, it kind of comes and goes. So, I don't even know what you're gonna hear right now on this camera because there's a lot of stuff happening. I don't even know. Is this thing green? All right. Check out the view. Big bus London. It's an open double deck. It's really, really cool. I'm here with Laura, the CC spy. Hello. We're in Egypt, okay? So that was a wonderful surprise. I was in London this uh, past week or two ago. I don't even know how time flies at this point um, to meet up with the CC spy, aka Laura, and also with Patrick J. Thomas, who was having his graduation as producer. So it was such a fabulous thing to be in London. And then this happened, which is why you're here for the video is about the unboxing. Actually, there's much more. It doesn't all fit inside this bag. Um, it's all thanks to Laura, aka the CC Spy, because she's been collecting bits and bobs for me throughout the years, you know, and since there was a lockdown situation going on, we couldn't really get the stuff. Um, but we couldn't meet up sooner, right? So there's a little bit of things here that I'm going to unbox that have been collecting since a couple of years. Uh, some things that I purchased that Laura purchased for me that I sent her the money, wired her the money, some things that are gifts from Laura to me. Wonderful. This was such a wonderful, wonderful experience. Before we get to the unboxing, don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on the tubes. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Dacob all spelled together there as well. Be sure to turn on the notifications button because I will be randomly live streaming throughout the week. And if you want to catch a live stream, be sure not to miss out. So let's unbox this. Then there's uh, <clears throat> the crop is here. I'm not unboxing the crop. Obviously, we know our Hermes crop. Doc Martens, but it's not Doc Martens. It's actually, it just contains more Chanel. And then there's something behind me as well. So where do we begin? Let's start from here. So this is a gift from Laura to me. Thank you so much, Lauretta. All right. So CC Spy uh, and I met up in Laundry's, darling. Okay, there's a couple of things here. So I know we're, we're a year late, you guys. But we got the Fictre, the Fictre 5 collection. What does this color mean? Color weather, color weather, sweater weather. It's sweater weather, sweater weather. And it's a color weather. And this is the blue one. Okay, this one is a little bit dented here, but hey, it, it's been through hell. <laughs> it's a miracle that it survived. It has a little bit of a scratch running through there. But you know, there's stuff in here. Okay, so this is blue. 
This is yellow. Fikchre 5 collection. And then, oh my God, there's more. <gasps> okay, this is like burgundy or red, I want to say. Also the Fikchre 5 collection. Also a little bit dented, but I really took care that this doesn't, oh well, it is what it is. Um, and then the fifth is green. Wait, did I get doubles? No. We got green, magenta, blue, red, and yellow. There you go. So these are the colors. One would be missing, right, to, to create a whole hexagonal, no, octagonal, one, two, three, four, five, no, hexagonal shape. So, you know, for those of you who know, you know, um, these are the posters from the collection, and I don't want to ruin them, because, you know, I'm a collector. I'm not going to really keep these open and framed and stuff like that, but let me see. Is there a sticker here? Because if there's a sticker, oh boy, this seems to be complicated. Let's delicately try to open this without damaging anything. Got it. Okay, so. Listen, I'm just going to open one and the other one I'm going to blend in the picture of the posters because, you know, we've all seen them last year online, but. Okay, the paper quality is lovely, lovely. Oh, well, what a coincidence that I opened up the oil poster of the Chanel number no. five um, body oil or what do they call it? Yeah, the, the body oil. Now, there's a lot of lights, so I'm trying to kind of not reflect the light too much so you get to see how red it is. And it's white in the back, right? Here, if we go more to the back, you see it more for what it truly is. Oh, little thumbnail time moment. Hold on, let me do this. Okay, so you get the gist. Now, there's five different products photographed with different backgrounds. The sticker dot here. Uh, represents the color background of the poster. So this is the red background with the body oil. Then you have one with the tin cream. One is going to have probably the squishy uh, body lotion, you know, and all that stuff. So, but I'm going to blend in the photos right here, right now. So uh, let's get through them together. You get to see quickly all of the photos running through with all of the different colored backgrounds. Uh, fabulosity. Now I'm, I'm going to keep them obviously wrapped up in their original boxes just because I'm a collector at heart. Listen, if I manage to get doubles, you know, like two posters of each, then I would keep one open, one closed. But you know, this is very much pop art. Um, do I want to have an oil, a Chanel number no. five body oil poster hanging on my wall? I mean, not necessarily. To be honest with you, there are better pictures I could imagine having on my wall. So, uh, but it's, you know, it's a part of the history of Chanel number no. five. You can check out my older videos that, that talk about uh, the review of the Factory Five collection and, you know, how bad and good it was, mostly bad rather than good it was. But it is a part of Chanel's history, whether they should be embarrassed for it or not. So I do have a lot of the pieces from that collection. And I'm so, so grateful to Laura for uh, actually having found the posters for me because I was missing them in my collection. So there's that. Now, interesting point, And the first thing we're going to take out of this bag here, interesting that you see how everything is holistic and connected because the first thing I'm going to take out of here just so happens to be another gift uh, Laura had for me. And that I, by accident, opened the poster with the body oil. This was basically the last piece missing from my collection of the Chanel Number no. 5 Fetchre. 
I did not get my hands on the oil, but Laura got me the oil. So this was my Christmas present for last year. <laughs> Thank you so much, Laura. So this is a 200 milliliter, 250 milliliter oil. And in the instructions, they tell you to cut down here. They tell you to cut open the canister and then, you know, the oil is open. But then they can't really close it properly because you just have this little nozzle to put on top here to keep it closed. So it can leak. Obviously, um, I'm not going to open it. This thing is going to stay the collector's piece that it is. Plastic, fantastic. It's Chanel number no. 5. What can I tell you? You know, I've been loving Chanel number no. 5 my entire life, so... This is um, <clears throat> this is an important uh, collectible, you know. Sweater weather, <laughs> collectible weather, collectible weather. And so let me put it back into its protective bed. Thank you so much, Laura. Now the next piece I want to show you. Okay, so we got really good goodies here to unbox. Oh, but before we get to those, something else Laura got me. At one point, Laura, so cute. CC Spy, how's it going, sweetie? By the way, be sure to subscribe. Well, on Instagram, you can't subscribe. Be sure to follow the CC Spy on Instagram, uh, spelled T H E uh, C C. No, it's not the CC Spy anymore. It's just CC Spy, I think. CC S P Y. But I'm going to post the link to Laura's uh, Instagram account down below. So be sure to follow her. She's amazing. If you want to know anything about Chanel, she's your go to for that. And. But she contacted me at one point. She's like, Jacob, she was in a perfume uh, shop. And she's like, they got like really cool freebies today. I was like, Ooh, what is it? What is it? It was Jean-Paul Gaultier. Now, I know I love Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, and in fact, I had to get Le Mal and um, Scandal for Men. Le Mal 75 ml, Scandal for Men 50 ml. Why? Well... Because I wanted the freebies. Now, Le Mal, I have it. I use it. I adore it. This is actually a perfume that uh, I adore. So I know it doesn't have a really big reputation because, you know, a lot of perfume snobs snob this one because they say everybody and their grandfathers are wearing it and uncles and aunts and everything. To me, it it brings back wonderful memories. I, Le Mal is uh, one of my tops, tops, just for memory's sake, and I think the quality is amazing too. But anyway, this is the freebie with Le Mal. And uh, let me open it. The quality is really good. It's very sturdy and thick. It is a denim backpack from Gautier. This is how wide it is at the bottom not too big it's it's a cutie right it's a little backpack moment with the Gautier logo in the front and it has that denim -y type of uh, jacket vibe going for it I think yeah so we have a clip closure here I mean my background is all blue um, I just chipped my nail polish with this thing but so my back, background is blue. This is blue. It's a bit of a mess, but it has a, a pull string, right? So you can kind of pull it closed. It's a bit stiff because it's brand new, but you know, you catch the drift. I'm all into bucket bags at the moment. So, so anyway, I'm going to have to soften it up a little. So you pull the drawstring and then you close the backpack. And it's adorable. Now, this was the freebie with Le Mal, right? But this was the freebie with Scandal for Men. Oh my gosh. It is a full-blown weekender bag. Or you could call it a gym bag. Oh, a desiccant just fell out of it. So you could extend this, make it longer and, you know, wear it crossbody or just on the shoulder. But it also comes with these handles. 
So it has a huge Gautier logo in the front, very 90s, super cute. It is pleather. It's not leather, leather weather, pleather weather. <laughs> it's pleather weather. The logo is not on the back. And uh, it's, yeah, it's like a carry-on for, for, you know, for um, an airplane if you're flying. It, it's the right size that you can actually carry it on. Quite sturdy, substantial. Now, it's plastic, obviously, so I do believe that with time, give it a couple of years, you know, it might degrade. But it's very much Jean-Paul Gaultier. It does have, oh, cute. It even comes with a Gaultier logo on the inside. It, they're all made in China, probably. These freebies usually, you know, gifts with purchase, uh, perfume, you know, gifts with perfume purchase usually are. But I got to say, the hardware is sturdy. The gold hardware. This strap is very sturdy. It's a beautifully woven cotton and the zipper pull is also sewn together on both sides. It's not just like, you know, a cheap zipper pull. Gorgeous. Let me do a little screen. Uh, what's it called? Thumbnail time moment with this one. Hmm. There you go. So there's that. Now. Unboxing time. Unboxing time. The first piece. Let's see what it is. I don't know which one I put on top, which one I put on the bottom. But, um, you know, both Laura and I are obsessed with one particular collection. While Carl Lagerfeld was still alive. And this, ah. This one was missing from my collection. I'm so happy that Laura hunted it down for me during none other than the Chanel sales a couple of years ago. It is the Métier d'A 2019 Paris, Egypt slash Par well, Paris, New York slash Egypt. In fact, hint, hint, I was wearing my scarab earring because I was hinting at this. This is not an earring. This is a brooch. And I was missing this from my collection. This is the small uh, scarab brooch. Um, let me take it off. So y'all get to see. It's very tiny, so it's hard to get the needle off because the needle is really small. All right. There it is. So it is a hammered metal, like brass, and then soaked in 24 karat gold, made by Goussaint for Chanel. And look at the back with all the hieroglyphics. All the secret messages left uh, over for, for us to discover what they mean. Gorgeous. So this little beauty has to be polished. It's been in its dormant state for how many years now, Laura? I can't remember. I think two? <laughs> Almost one, two years almost, they've been waiting for me. And um, Laura was always saying, like, yeah, should I send them to you? Should I send them to you? I was like, oh, hell no. I don't want stuff to get lost in the post. Whenever we meet up one day and that day shall come, then we can do this. There you go. This one has been polished. Wow. The tiny, tiny little metal pin in the back. This one's going to be really difficult to put on, but, you know, anyway. Ah, so excited. I was missing this one in my collection. Actually, well, let's get to the next piece. So, now, <clears throat> oh, this one has a little care booklet for their costume jewelry. Because the box is for costume jewelry. It's the big scarab. Again, hammered metal and then gold plated, 24 karat gold. That's why it has these etched. It's supposed to look antique, you guys. Don't think that this is a flaw. Um, I do have this scarab already in this size, right? But let me take it off of its protective field. I do have it already in big, but 
uh, once Laura wrote me that, you know, Chanel was having sales and like this thing was in the sales. I was like, you know what? I want a second one. Sorry. I, I, 40% off. Yes. I want to say, are you kidding me? Always and forever. So next to each other, you get to see the size. Tiny brooch, big brooch, same size. They made necklaces. There's a necklace with this size scarab and a necklace with this size scarab. So that's in fact, the thing I'm missing is the necklace with the big scarab. I have the necklace with the little scarab and I'm also missing the two cuffs with the scarabs. And then I would have the entire collection of the scarab, the entire scarab, the entire Goussaint scarab, gold scarab. Because there's been a lot of different scarabs made uh, for this collection, but I'm talking about the full on gold scarabs. To have a full set, I would still need the big necklace and the cuffs with the scarabs. But I do have the big brooch, the little brooch, the earrings. It's two of them. I, only, I always only wear one at a time. Clip on earrings and uh, the little necklace. So you could do something. You could wear them, but I mean, obviously I am, you know what, sooner or later, I'm going to wear both of them and they're going to be like all, all three of them. I mean, every, the whole thing together, let's go really tacky. You know what I mean? Like, but you would put them on the side on a, on a jacket, on a lapel, like three scarabs climbing on top of you, plus the necklace, plus the earrings, a bit overkill, but I'm living for it. So I've been waiting for so long to get these beauties, Mwah, loving them so much. Thank you, Laura. So, so, so much for this. Is there anything more? Oh, there was another little pin, but I packed that away. It was a, a freebie from the Chanel a Beauty Boutique, like with the Chanel Number no. 5 bottle, one of those like brooches, like a, like a pin. And, uh, you know, like on a, a tin pin with a photo, you know, attached to it. So there's that as well, which is already archived. Because <laughs> I'm like, those are super delicate, so I never leave them out and about. But Laura, thank you so, so much. And you guys be sure to... Follow the CC Spy on Instagram. Link to CC Spy is down below. And as far as I'm concerned, also to myself, me, myself, and I. And also follow Patrick J. Thomas while you're at it. He's also on Instagram. Link will be down below. Uh, never give up on love, you guys. Subscribe.